The first step in setting up your portfolio website is to set up your domain name and hosting. And I like to use HostGator.com for this. They are absolutely awesome. I use HostGator for everything. I've been with some other hosting providers and HostGator is by far and away the absolute best. They have a phone number. You can talk to a live person. I've had to use the phone number before and I got to talk to a real person and they were very helpful. When you get to the screen, you'll see that right in the center there's a button that says view web hosting plans. That's the button you want to click on. And then for most of your needs, you'll probably just need the hatchling plan. So we'll go ahead and click on order now for that. And we're going to go ahead and put in our domain name. That's the URL. And for for a portfolio website, you probably just want yourname.com. And I'm just going to put in art portfolio website. And it'll check and see if that's available. And luckily it is available. The .com extension is available. So I can go ahead and continue on with this. If I want the variations of that, I can opt for that. Now I'm going to choose to pay by the month. Now there's you can choose in advance and to pay in advance and it's a little bit cheaper. So once you click that, you'll need to next put in your financial information. I'm just going to block that step out there, understandably so. Further down on the page, there's some more add-on add-ons. You don't really need any of that. Now I have a special coupon code that you can use that will give you 25% off, and it's the virtual instructor. Once you put that in, hit the validate button. You can see it changes your total there. It takes 25% off of your total. Agree to the terms and conditions and then create account. And the next thing you need to do is check your email. In your email, you will find an email from HostGator. There's a link to your control panel. There's the username and there's a password. We're going to go ahead and copy that password and then follow the link to the control panel and it'll bring you up to this login page for the control panel. You need to go ahead and put your username in there and then just paste that password right in and it will bring you into the back end of your C panel or control panel. This is the screen you'll be presented with. Now we're ready for step two and that's to install WordPress. So uh, the old way of installing WordPress in cPanel is to go down here to the bottom of the screen and use Fantastico Deluxe. Uh, but HostGator, being the awesome people that they are, have set up a shortcut right up here at the top. You just need to click on the Get Started with WordPress Today link and it will bring you into a quick install screen here. All you have to do is hit the Continue button and your install will start. No coding necessary, nothing like that. It's going to do it all automatically for you. Now, we probably want this installed on the root domain, so you can leave that little space out beside the .com empty. We're going to go ahead and put in the admin email. Now, this should probably be an email that you have access to. And then we can go ahead and give uh, a title to our website, which again might be yourname.com or whatever you want it to be. I'm going to just put Art Portfolio Website. Then you can go ahead and put in your admin username, your first name, and your last name. Of course, your admin username is a name that you decide. You probably don't want it to be admin. You want it to be something, maybe even your name. Um, and then it's going to go ahead and start the install. And you can see when it's finished with the install, you're presented with a username, a password, and a link to your admin login. So make sure you copy that password and paste it somewhere or write it down then follow that link and you can put in your username and then the password that they've provided with you. And you can go ahead and log in. Now you've got your website up. Let's customize it and make it into a portfolio site. So once you log into the back end of WordPress, you're going to need to go down to Appearance and select Themes. And your theme is how your website's going to look and function. We're going to go ahead and click on the Add New button. And you can search for specific characteristics of your theme, but I already know one that I want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and put in Portfolio Press and then search. And there it is, just the first one that pops up. We'll go ahead and click Install Now. And uh, once it's installed, you can go ahead and activate it. And if we go back here, we can take a look at what the site looks like by going up to uh, the name of our website and clicking on Visit Site. And it looks pretty darn plain right now. So uh, this is what your website's going to look like early on. You'll probably have the Hello World blog post there right at the beginning. So let's go ahead and turn that into a portfolio site. We're going to go to Media next on the back end and go to Add New. Then we're going to select the files and I already have a folder with all of the artwork that I want to include in the portfolio. So I'll go ahead and open that up. It'll take a minute to upload all of those drawings.
So once all the drawings or paintings or whatever you want in your portfolio is uploaded, you need to go ahead and go to pages and uh, we're going to create a brand new page and this is going to be our portfolio page. So go to pages and then select add new and we're going to name this portfolio. All right, next we're going to go over to the far right and we're going to change the template from the default template to full width image and gallery post. Then we're going to go ahead and publish that. Next, we need to create a few posts, which are basically going to be the images in our portfolio. So we'll go to Post and select Add New. And uh, we're going to create a new post for each one of the images that's in our portfolio. So I'm going to start with Pastel Landscape Water. Then in the text area underneath, we can create a description for the image. Uh, it can be as long as you want, but for this demonstration. I'm just going to go ahead and put pastel landscape water demonstration, a short description. And then over on the far right, we're going to change the format here from the standard format to image. And then at the very bottom under featured image, we're going to click on set featured image. And then from the images that we've already uploaded, we can choose the image that we want to show up. I'm going to put some alt alternative text underneath there, some alt text, which um, are basically a description of the image. So I'm just going to put pastel landscape water. And then at the very bottom we can click on the button that says set featured image. Now nothing will show up here but underneath our featured image it does show up and we can click on the publish button and then it'll take a minute and then you can click on view post and then there's our image there with our description underneath and at the top you can see um, if we go back to our pages rather we can go under Pages, All Pages, and we can check out the portfolio page we made. Now there's a sample page here. We don't need that anymore, so we can go ahead and trash that. But under our portfolio page, if we go back and take a look at that portfolio page, we can see now that there is a link to our image, and when we scroll over it, it's got a nice little description that shows up. We click on it, it brings us to the page that has the artwork on it. So what we need to do now um, is we need to go back and create more posts. In fact, we need to make a post for every one of our images that we want to include in our portfolio. So we'll go back to Post, Add New, and we'll give this one a title. I'm going to do five different, or I'm, rather, I'm going to do nine different images for this portfolio, but you can do as few or as many as you'd like. We'll name this one Pastel Landscape Trees. And again, underneath, you can write a description. You might go into the process that you use to create the image or whatever you want here. And then again, we're going to change the format from standard to image, and then we're going to select the featured image from our media library. We can give it an alt text description there. And then click Set Featured Image. And when we publish that, we can go back and take a look at what we've got here. Click on View Post, and there's our trees. And now if we go back to our portfolio link, now we've got both of them up there. So again, we're going to repeat this process. I'm going to speed this up just a bit. Like I said, I'm going to do nine different pieces here. All right, skipping ahead here, I've got all nine of my posts in here, and now you can see uh, my portfolio website starting to look a lot better. When you click on one of the links, it brings you to the portfolio page for that piece of artwork. Now up here at the top, you can see underneath our description, it has just another word, or underneath our title, it says just another WordPress site. And over on the right-hand side, we've got all these, these links. So let's go ahead and clean that up a little bit. So we're gonna go back to your dashboard, go to settings, and then general. And the first thing we're going to do is take care of that statement, just another WordPress site. So right underneath your title, there's a tagline there, and you can change that tagline to whatever you want. In fact, you can just keep it blank if you want. For this demonstration, I'm going to put the portfolio of your name here. So maybe you fill that in with your name there. And then once you've done that, go down and make sure you click the Save Changes button. Now when we go back to our site, we can see that that's changed. It says now the portfolio of your name here. 
And you can see our page setup is a little bit different. We'll take care of that in just a moment. And we're going to set it up so that it's the portfolio page. But before we do that, let's take care of all these things over on the right hand side. These things are called widgets. So under your dashboard, you're going to want to go under appearance and then widgets. And you can see over on the sidebar, we've got some of those widgets in place. If you want to remove a widget, you just click on it and drag it out of there. So let's remove recent comments and let's remove archives and just pull it out from that sidebar and let's remove categories too. So what we're left with now is the meta, which is basically your logging in and logging out. Of course, you can remove that as well. We've got recent posts in our search. Now, here are some other widgets that we can add. If you want just to have just some text there, you can click and drag on the text widget. And let's make this uh, about the artist. So we'll put about me. Instead, let's put about the artist here. And then you can write some stuff about yourself and, and tell the visitors to your site a little bit more about you. And of course, this is just an arbitrary text. So it could be anything that you want to add there. You can even add some HTML coding if you know anything about HTML coding. And then make sure you hit the Save button when you're finished. And then we can go back and check out our site. And you can see now over here on the right side, hand side, we've got uh, some different things showing up. Now it says about the artist and it shows what we typed. And the other things that we removed are, are missing. So now let's uh, let the landing page be the actual portfolio page, this page right here. We want, when people visit, we want them to come to this page. So we're going to go back to the dashboard and then we're going to go down to settings. This time we're going to select reading. And up here where it says front page displays, we're going to change that from your latest post to a static page and then we'll select our portfolio page and then click the save changes button. And now when we go back to our website, you'll see our portfolio page pops up there. All right, now if you're going to have a portfolio page, you need to have at least some way that people can contact you. So let's go ahead and add a contact page. To do that, let's go back to our dashboard. And we're going to go to plugins first, and I'm going to go click add new plugins, and then we'll do a search for contact. There's a bunch of different plugins for creating a contact page. For this particular theme, with this particular version of WordPress, the one that I found that works best here is Contact Form Clean and Simple. And we'll go ahead and install that. Then once it's installed, go ahead and activate the plugin. And you can see it show up in your list of plugins. Now we need to set the settings for that, so we'll click on the settings link underneath it. And when that comes up, you can choose to include the CAPTCHA code to cut down on spam if you'd like. You can choose an email that uh, will, your contacts will be sent to. Anytime somebody fills out the contact form, be sent to that email. You can customize your message, and then you save the changes. Now up here at the top, there's a short code. You'll need to highlight that and copy it copy that code because you're going to paste it into a new page. So then we'll go to pages and add new. And we'll just call this the contact page. And then we'll just paste that short code in that text box. We'll leave it at the default template. And then we can click publish. And then we can take a look at that page. And now you have a professional looking contact page where people can contact you and ask about your art. So now we have the contact page and the portfolio page at the top, and uh, you're on your way to having your own portfolio site there. Of course, there's some more customi customization that you can do to it, but at least you got a good start here.